Okay, so today we're talking about our sculptures and we are going to be coloring them. So what I have in front of me is I have some watercolor paints, I have some crayons. If you have a set of Sharpie markers, you can use those to color it. Really, I'm just gonna be experimenting. I don't know what's gonna work. So if you have a different set, of, if you have acrylic paints, those work really well for sculpture. I'm gonna use this white crayon. And remember how we have done crayon resist? I don't know if this is even coming out on here. So I'm going over each line really hard. And it's actually indenting the, the clay, which I didn't think was gonna happen because it's been drying for a week but it is, it is denting the clay a little bit. So I'm, I'm hoping that some of the color from the white crayon is coming out on the clay. I'm gonna switch over to black. Maybe I could see that a bit. Ooh, I could see that really well. Okay, so I am just experimenting with um, different materials. So you can experiment with any different materials that you want to use to color your sculpture, whatever your sculpture is. Remember, it was free sculpt, so you got to do whatever you wanted to do. What am I, oh, it comes back here, so let me go here, down and up, and then it meets the white one. Okay, so it's about half white, about half black. Um, what else do I wanna do in here? Maybe I wanna do some designs um, here. Whatever designs you wanna do, if you wanna do an actual picture on the side, that's fine. Um, I did a pinch pot, so mine is gonna maybe look different from yours, or maybe you did a pinch pot too. It was free sculpt, you could have done anything. I don't know how the paint is gonna react to this. This is gonna be total science experiment. So, we always wanna see things. Okay, so I have the paints here. I have my water in this little top container. I'm gonna put some paints in here. I think I just wanna use the warm colors. You can use any colors you want. You don't have to use warm colors or cool colors. You could use all the colors, whatever you wanna do. I think just for me, I just wanna use warm colors. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my brush on its side, roll like spaghetti until I have a good amount of paint on there. I probably should have wet this before I began so that it had time to soak up. Now let's see, let's see if I go across the whole thing. Oh no, it doesn't really push the paint away. So I'm gonna go over here. I can kind of see where my triangles were, so I'm gonna kind of make that the, um, the place where my design is. Maybe I could even wipe that off a little. Oof. Okay, we'll see how that works out at the end. I don't know, everything's an experiment. I'm gonna go through all of this. Let me set it to hyperspeed, hyperdrive. Okay, so I am pretty much done with my painting my sculpture. It is still pretty wet, so I don't want to pick it up anymore. I'm gonna wash my brush, I'm gonna dump out my water and put away the paints. Now I realize some of you might have more complicated sculptures than the pinch pot. So I am going, remember you're only gonna be doing this for 25 minutes because you have to clean up afterwards. You have 30 minutes for art. You're, you have to clean up afterwards and you have to put this on Art Sonia. So remember just to work for the 25 minutes. If you don't finish, that is fine. We will be doing this next week, which means that we will be doing it when you come back for break. If you do finish today, I will have some other fun activity for you to do when we come back to break, so don't worry that you're gonna miss out or anything like that. So if you finish today, it's great. If you don't finish today, that is expected. It's expected that most of you will not finish today and we'll have another day to work on this when we come back from break. Okay, have a great time, guys. Bye.